everybody to Super Mega Baseball 2. I'm Gals Crazy. This is going to be game number 28 of the season. We have a two and a half game lead on the elephants with three to go. So that makes our magic number two. The magic number is two. Any combination of my wins and elephant losses will clinch us the division and a playoff spot. And speaking of elephants, here they go now. But they're up big on a team average. And they do win, so the magic number stays at two. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Hold it. Yes. Or maybe not. Hold it. They've played 27 games. Yeah, they have an extra game. Yeah. Yeah, when I win, they'll have an extra game. So it stays at two. That's right. It stays at two. They will have an extra game. They'll have a game in hand. So the magic number will be two. If I win this one, it'll be down to one. Today's game is against those bottom feeders in our division and fellow piece of beef, the Sirloins. They're 9 and 19 on the season. One of the lower teams in the league. So hopefully a win here today will go a long way. But they have a pretty good pitcher in there today, 2-2 two two with a 2.08 ERA. But we have a pretty good pitcher. 3-0, something foul, 1.71 ERA. He has been our standout pitcher this season, even though he's not normally when I play this game. <laughs> um, well, we'll take it. Gavin's going to get in there on a little rest. Boz is tense, channel is tense, but we can see how that can change very quickly. Fury was tense too, and then she belted a 3-1 bomb and everything changed, right? So let's head off to the Modi Yard to take on the Sirloins. That prime piece of beef. Living Cow versus dead cow i'm cows crazy by the way i think i mentioned that but i didn't mention that you guys are the herd you're the herd thank you for coming out here today for another ball game it's a great day for baseball do up first volke lp and fury Leading off the top of the first inning. On base percentage leader is Volke still. I checked it before we started. Take strike one. He's going to foul that one off. That's a wild curve there. Hits it right past the pitcher and it's into center for a single. On base percentage leader increases that average just a little bit there. Sam the Elpier coming in here. He's running off the first pitch. He's down. He's in there. He's safe. Volke steals here in the first inning, trying to get off to a damn good start. And Sam Lee appears He's going to hit this right to third. Volke kind of stopped to watch to make sure he didn't come up and tag him. But he does get over to third. One away. One away. And Fury is up. Just going to take the first one. For a ball. That's also a ball. Good eye. Inside. They might be pitching around her here. But they come right back in with a strike here. Ooh, the Ste. I thought that was inside. That's well outside. Don't give her much to hit. And she's walking on down the first. As the very tense Jeremy Channel is up. He's been in a bit of a slump. Now would be a great time to break out of it, wouldn't it? Little high. That's outside. Good eye. Right down the middle. Strike one. Swings at it late. Strike two. And then sends it into center field. Volke is going to run off the... And make it safe. And make it safe. The tag up 
the sack fly by channel drives home Volke. It's one nothing herd. That's a Steve there on X zero ninety ninety one. He's gonna swing late at that one. It's strike two. Fouls it off. And then hits it through the pitcher's legs into center. First and second. The inning continues as Boz steps up. 226 on the season. No home runs. Only a couple of ribbies. Isn't playing that great of baseball. But he's hanging around there. He's going to hit down the first baseline. And he's going to be thrown out. That's three away. But the steal... The sack fly, it all drives in one run, and one run is the start of something. Mr. Cook is up first for the sirloins, and let's see what Fawful can do today. Fawful has been on his game this season, right up there. He's got a, he might not, I don't know if there is a best pitcher award honestly, but if there was a best pitcher award, he'd have to be in the conversation for it, at least. I don't know if he'd win it. There are guys that have better ERAs, for sure. There are guys that have more wins, for sure. He hasn't won every game. Well, he hasn't lost any either, but he's gotten some no decisions. But damn, has he pitched well. Very steady, very steady. Already got the two strikes here. Hit out the boss, and he just lifts his glove up ever so nicely and grabs it. One nothing heard as we head to the second. Everybody's favorite cow's crazy is coming up. He's batting a nice 239 with a couple home runs and seven ribbies. And he's gonna take this one into center right. But it's way too high. It hangs up there way too much. And it's going to be caught for the first out. There's nice placement of the ball. But way too high. Had to be more of a line drive as Gavin swings wildly there. And then just taps one off to the left of the pitcher. Who picks it up, turns it around, two out. Fafel. The pitcher is up. Bats 200 this season, which is all you can really ask for out of a pitcher. Well, that average is going to go down as he grounds out to short. Three away. Bottom of the second coming back up. Mr. Filet is due up. Wiggins and Bashy. Filet Mignon. Sirloins are some heavy hitters. They get this one right up the middle. And they're going to start off the bottom of the second with a single. A living single. As Mr. Wiggins is going to step in here. He's going to take a stee on the inside. And another stee right there. And then the final stee. Sit down. One away. 202. But he has three home runs and 10 RBIs this season. Which isn't amazing, but it's definitely a power threat. Balls going inside, outside. Not getting him the swing at much here. Looks at that one all the way and takes the cold strike. He's out. Preston Adamus Adamonymous not batting well at all this season less than that Mendoza line Mendoza he's gonna tap this one out to Boz, Boz is gonna pick it up throw it on the first the inning is over only the one hit for the sirloins nothing more top of three we go back to the top of the lineup that Volke coming up he singled stole and scored in the first inning. That's well inside. It's off the end of his bat. The second baseman's going to pick it up and throw him out easily. One away. Sam's got his average up to a nice 280. He's looking good. He's a very steady 
steady batter this season. Good eye. He's now taking three balls. Gonna look that one right down the pipe. Ooh, another one comes in, strike two. And then he's gonna get all over that one, hit it into center. It's a single for Sam the Alp here. Here's Mrs. Fury. Or Ms. Fury. Inside. Ball one. That one's well high. Looks like they're trying to pitch around her again. But they're going to call that one a strike. That's inside. She's going to foul it off. Another foul. Driving into the ground. Hit hard. Past the pitcher. Into center. And it's first and second. Just keep moving the runners around. Here's Mr. Channel. He had the sack fly, which led to the RBI. Sack fly RBI. In the first. It's the only one of the inning so far. He's going to swing late at that one. We've got two strikes now. Well inside. Ball one. Again inside. Ball two. Good eye. Not a good eye as he chips that one up high. And it's going to be caught for the second out of the inning. X0991. He also singled. Nice 288 average on the season. I believe I misspoke last game. Sorry for the misinformation. I said that he was tied for the team lead in home runs. What I meant to say was that Fury. Oh, he runs out an infield single and the bases are loaded. Was that Fury had regained the team lead in home runs from X0991. She now has six. He has five. Boz up to bat here. With the bases loaded, he's going to foul that one off. Two strikes now. And then he's going to swing and miss at a high one. And the herd leave the bases loaded. Not the first time we've heard that this season. As my phone goes off, of course. The Rush! Damien Rush. He's the first batter. He's going to take a stee. Slide this one to the outside. Another stee. Curves it. Sit down, Mr. Rush. You are out. Kays, the pitcher, batting 118. That's a nice stee right there. Stee again. Didn't think he was going to get the bat even off his shoulder for a little bit there. Slide it in. It's popped up into right foul territory. And it's caught. Two away. Back to the top of the lineup. Mr. Cook. He's going to take strike one. Rolling inside here. And he swings wildly at that. And this one's going to be hit hard over Volke's head. He reached for it, couldn't get it. It's hit out into center. This should be at least a double. He's going for three. He does. He makes it in there with the triple. The two-out triple by, by Cook. And the Herder in a little bit of trouble here. Fair ball. It's thrown across the diamond. He's called safe and the sirloins have tied the game at one. That hot corner, Boz did his best to knock it down, but he couldn't recover to make the throw in time. They run it out. Very well run out. And the sirloins tie the game. Just like that, things go from in control to trouble. That one's foul. That could have been a lot of trouble there. Foul ball. Up the middle. Sirloins keep coming. It's a single. First and second now. As they continue to threaten here, as Mr. Filet steps in. Filet Mignon. Inside. Right to Boz. 
Boz this time has lots of time to throw it across the diamond. And he's out. But not before the Sirloins tie the game at ones. We'll get to the top of the fourth. Cows. Gavin. Foppel. Do up. Bottom of the lineup. He's going to swing late at that one. Inside for a ball one. Another late swing, but he fouls it off. Inside of the bat. Hit hard, but not hard enough. Second baseman's got it. Cal's crazy's out. One away. Gavin, only a buck 95 with a one wibby this season as the backup catcher. Not that Shadow is doing too much better, but he does have some key home runs to Shadow. Gavin to the second baseman again, two away. Fawful trying to keep the inning alive here. Right down the middle, he takes a hard swing at it. Well, that's into the crowd foul. That's a stee, strike two. Looks like they're just trying to pitch it hard to him and say, trying to hit it. And he did. But he's popped up and he's out. Three away. Bottom of the fourth we go. Wiggins, Bashy, and Adonimus <laughs> are due up for the sirloins. Here in a 1-1 game. Again, hit hard down the third baseline, but they're calling that one foul. That could have been a lot of trouble. The outside changeup fools him. And the curveball gets him. Steve, like 1 -y. Mr. Bashy steps in. He doesn't bash it. His channel's going to go pick that one up, throw it to Cows. Two away. Adunununumus. Hard fastball into left center. That's going to get down. This will probably be a double. And it is. It's a double for Adunanumus. Two out double. Last time they got a two out triple and they turned it into a run. Can rush. Turn another two out hit into a score for the sirloins. He's down the two strikes already. And he's going to just tap this one along the channel, who's easily going to throw him out. So this time the threat was not a threat. Volke knew up. Top of the fifth. Top of the lineup in the top of the fifth. That's what we got going on here. He's one for two today. Swung at one a little inside. It was slow and he thought he could really belt it. But all he did was pop it up. One out. Sam Neil Pierre, he's one for two today as well. He looks at the first pitch down the middle. A low ball he swings at wildly. That's up and out. Ball one. Taps this one well up. It's not going to make it to the crowd. And he's popped up into foul territory two away one for one today is fury single she's also reached by walking there's a stee looks like they're going right after her this time with the two outs and she's gonna make him pay not too hard though but the inning shall continue as that's a single fury's on Channel still trying to get out of this drought. He did hit the sack fly though. But this time, can't get it past the pitcher. And he is out. Bottom of the fifth we go. K's. The pitcher is due up. And then back to the top of the lineup. Now batting, number 41, the pitcher. First pitch, fastball, right to Cows. Almost didn't have to move for it at all. Runs to first, one away. Here's the triple man, Lloyd Cook. He's going to take a strike there. 
We go inside on this one. He swings and misses. The ball drops out of that one. Does not get anything. That one's low as well. A hard hit ball to right, but into the crowd. Fooled, and they call the strike three, even though I thought it was a little outside. But we'll take it. Umpire calls the strike. Sit down. Go back to the dugout. Your day. Well, your bat is done at least. <laughs> Stee. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Sit down. Top of the six we go. X0991 is due up to lead off the six. He is two for two today, a couple of singles. Batting 295 now. Trying to catch up to that nice 300 average. He takes a first strike. He's going to hit this one hard, but very high. I don't think it's going to get far enough, or maybe it will. Oh, caught at the track. Thought it was at least going to make the wall, but it's caught at the track. One away. Buzz does nothing but tap it right back to the pitcher, and he's out. Cow's crazy. He's 0 for 2. But he's always looking to bust loose. He's going to take ball 1. He's going to take ball 2. Good eye. There's a ste. That's well outside for ball 3. And then he's going to hit it hard to left. And he's on with a two out single. Can this lead to any damage? I don't know. Gavin's going to have to come through here. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he's right there. Well, that's only sometimes. As sometimes he'll just look at strike one. Inside, ball one. That looked a little low, and it is. Two and one. He swings at that. Shouldn't have. Strike two. Then he gets a hard hit. There we go. Past the second baseman. First and second now. And we're at least going to get the, the pitcher's spot is coming up here. They're going to let him swing away here, which is unfortunate. I think they were thinking about pinch hitting. But honestly, Foffel is just too good of a pitcher to take out in this situation. And he tried his damn best, but he's out. Three away. Bottom of the six we go. Hopefully, Foffel does not make us regret that decision. As the three, four, and five hitters, the hardest guys to pitch to are due up. One for two today is the hammer. And the low fastball, they're going to get him to pop it up. And Gavin's going to make the catch. One away. Filet. Filet Mignon is up to bat now. He's going to take ball one. Then they're going to take ball two. Then he's going to take ball three. Stee. Inside. They call that a walk. He's walking down the first. Willard Wiggins is out. Pinch hitting is Betty Sparks. Betty Sparks is in the pinch hit in this situation. Right the channel, that's one. Throws it across. The pinch hit play was a disaster for the sirloins as they hit into the DP. The inning is over. Top of the seventh we go, and the top of the lineup, Volke, Alpier, Fury. All have at least a single hit today, and looking to make some damage, as they make more substitutions in the field and on the mound. Wow, that was way far in the dirt, and nobody's covering first, and he's there! What happened there? The first baseman took a dive into the ground. There was nobody to throw the ball to. And Volke is on. 
Very interesting. It was ball two. It's down in the dirt. Ball three. Steve two. Stanley up here is going to get underneath this one. Probably a little too underneath it. And it's caught for one away. Fury stands in. She's two for two today. A couple of singles and a walk. Reached all three times. Inside, ball one. Inside, ball two. Outside, ball three. And taking the whole way. It's a four pitch walk. She's on. It's first and second now for the extremely slumping channel. Even though he does have an RBI day. He's going to take D1. Well inside ball one. And then he's going to take that one hard but foul. And then he's going to take this one hard and left. It's up. It's going. It's moving. The slump is over for channel. And it's not a solo shot. 374 to left. It's a three-run jack for Channel 84 Winnipeg, his fifth of the season. And the herd have taken the lead. It's four to one. Zero is gonna look in at ball one. Now working with a lead here in the seventh inning. That homer must have felt good for Channel 84. Little high. That's a stee. Down the line. Oh, foul. Hit hard and into center. It's a single for X0991. The inning shall continue. Boz, he's 0 for 3 today. Looking to extend the inning. That's out of the zone. That is a stee. That's down. Ball two. Two and one. Inside ball three. That's a stee right there. And this time he's going to hit it. It's into right. And easily caught out there. Two away. Two away for Cows Crazy. He's one for three today. And then he's going to hit this one hard. Deep to short, though, but thrown well in time as Cow's Crazy's fat ass can't get over there. But the three run bomb by Channel 84 Winnipeg has put the herd out in the lead. It's 4 1. Bottom of the seventh, we go. Bobby Bashy leads off the bottom of the seventh here. Foul ball. This one's up, channel. He's riding a high from that home run, picks it up and throws him out. One away. Here's the ad onimus. He's one for two with the double today. Foul ball goes low. That goes outside. They call that a ball, though. That's a stee right there. And the curveball gets him swinging. Two away. It's Mr. Rush. Oh, what a rush! Well, that was a pretty big rush right there. It has popped way, way up. And Channel's got it. He was looking at that one all day long. And it's out. To the top of the eighth. And the top of the eighth good time song. In the top of the eighth we're gonna have a good time. In the top of the eighth we're gonna have a beer and probably a glass of milk and have a good time. As the sirloins change their pitcher we're gonna... Have a good time, everyone. 
Have a good time. As Gavin hits it deep into the hole, can he run faster? It's thrown wildly, and he's running for second. There is an error by the shortstop. And he's on. Mr. Fawful is in. <sighs> this is a tough one. I think we're substituting here. We're going to try to really put this game out of reach. Fawful, you've pitched seven good innings. It's time for you to sit down, though, now. And we're going to go... We're going to go Caliotom. Whoops, yeah. We're going to go Caliotom as our pinch hitter here. In the eighth. Strike one. That one's well down in the dirt. One and one. Just gonna hit this one hard. Over to second. It does advance the runner. But sadly, she is out. Back to the top of the lineup. Assassin's Volke. He's two for four. A couple singles today. Trying to drive in another insurance run. Sitting at third. That's ball two. That one's high. Ball three. Are they trying to walk him? They do. They walk him. Trying to set up the DP here. They're trying to set up the DP. Will Sam end up in the middle of a DP? <laughs> Hopefully not. Are they... Okay. That They were just pitching out to see if Volke was running. He was not. We got two strikes now. And that was a bad idea right there. Swing and a miss. He did stay out of the DP, though. But here's Fury. She's been good today. Two for two, two singles, two walks. Well, the sirloins are almost out of this horrible jam they're in. As they trail three runs. We can see why they are not one of the best teams in the league. Three and one. And well high, she is going to walk again. The bases are loaded. For the man who hit the three-run shot last time, he's one for three now. He's going to take the first pitch right down the middle, though. In the dirt, one and one. Down the dirt again, two and one. And he's going to hit it hard. But this time it's well foul. Bases are loaded here. And he's going to hit that one hard past the third baseman. It gets down. One run is going to score for sure. It's 5-1 heard as Channel drives home another run. Giving X0991 a chance at the plate here. As they're going to send in Duke. Duke the dog. They're also going to send into center field Tish Balin. Instead of the rush. Big curveball. Strike one. Inside. Thought that was going to curve again. It didn't. That one did. It's hit hard. But quickly thrown to second. To end the inning. But one more run does get across. The plate. As we're going to send in Mr. Top Kirby. To try to. Keep the sirloins at bay. It's 5-1 herd as we head to the bottom of the eighth. Tish Balin, who just got inserted defensively, is being forced to lead off here in the bottom of the eighth. Top Kirby gets her to swing at that one. Gets her looking at that one. Going outside here. Doesn't get her to swing. Inside plate pitch. There we go. Swing and a miss. You're out of here. Back to the top of the lineup. It's the cook. He had a triple today. But that's far from a triple as he is thrown out two away. Mick Steele. Fouls it off. Another nice foul there. Another foul. That's all he's trying to do here is keep extending the pitches. 
does not get that. Curveball freezes him. He's out. Top of the ninth we go. Herd lead 5-1. Boz, Cow's Crazy, and Gavin, who's actually done pretty well down today. He's two for four. Did they not? Oh, they did not give him the error. I guess... Hmm. I figured they would have scored that an error in that last inning when he got the second, but they did not score it an error. The official scorer being extremely generous there. Down the middle, it's a strike. Three and one now. Oh, that looked inside. Back to full count now. That one is inside. They get him to swing at it. Tapped along, one away. Boz is done. Cow's crazy, one for four today. Looks at this one, they try to almost beat him. We got a 2 and 0, oh. good eye. They come inside with that one, they call it a strike. They go outside with that one, 3 and 1. That curveball right down, full count. And well outside. If he was fooled by that, would have felt foolish. But he's on with a walk. And Gavin's up. Double. Single. They're calling that a double. Wow. I would not have called that a double, but official scorer is giving him a double. This time, there is the DP. DP to end the ninth, but we're heading to the bottom of the ninth. Sirloin's due up. They're down four. Hammer Lung Balio. Hopefully, that is not what he's going to do. But he is going to hit it hard into center. His top Kirby gives up a single there to start off the bottom of the ninth. A little rally is all they need here, right? Get a few pitches put together. Boz is going to pick this one up. He's going to throw it on. No! Oh, this could be devastating. They tried to go to second to get the lead runner. But he's in there in time. And now, now the sirloins have men running on the bases. It's first and second. Cannot get her to swing at that one. They get her to swing at that. It's a foul. Curveball hit straight into center field and caught there by the Volke. They're going to try to move the runner. They do. Over to third. They're safe. It's first and third with only a single out. But the DP still exists here. Getting him to swing at that one. Strike one. In the dirt! They were thinking of running for second, but they quickly changed the, their mind off of that one there. Ball one. Two balls now. And gets him the swing on the outside pitch. Sit down. That's two away now. And Mr. Adonadonymous is up. Trying to end the game here. Strike one. Outside pitch. Inside pitch is called a ball. Two and one. There's the curve. It's popped well, well up. Channel is calling for this one. He's got the catch. Three away. The ball game is over. Herd win. Herd win. There's your stats for today's game. Five runs off of 13 hits and no errors for the Herd. The sirloin score one run off of six hits and no errors, even though that's highly questionable. I would be sending a gift to the official scorer there. There's your batting stats for today's game. There's your pitching stats for today's game. Fawful with the win. Digby with the loss, who gave up the long ball. 
there. Speaking of that long ball, there he is, the first star, Jeremy Channel. Two for four, a home run. Five RBIs today. Is that right? Five? Yeah, he had all five RBIs today. That's ridiculous. Fafel and Fury also getting stars there. There's your star points, and that's it. Until next time, everybody, I've been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And, of course, moo. Wow. <laughs>